just cleaning this guy's enclosure out. I don't know if he's going to let me get him or not. Probably think something like food or something. I'd like to like let him go on the floor a little bit and just kind of slither around the carpet, but I don't know if he's going to let me, uh, I don't want to like pinch him too hard. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go, guys. He's definitely got a lot thicker. I don't want him to get like in the crack over there of that door. I'm not, you know, putting any pressure on him. I'm just barely holding him enough to where he'll stay still. Still debating if I want to let him go, but um, on the ground. Let's see what he does. Might have to turn the camera off, who knows. Boy, is he fast. <laughs> he is fast. He's gonna be hard to get back up off the ground. But I, I don't think I'll lose him or anything like that. I'm just gonna put my hand in front just in case he decides to do something. It's definitely um, stopped really getting longer at this point. He still will get longer, but he's definitely been getting a lot uh, just girthier, if that sounds right or not. <laughs> but um, it's definitely growing. kind of funny to watch the way he moves. Oh yeah, he's, he's like fast, but he's not so fast that he's just gonna go off somewhere. So I feel pretty comfortable with letting him do this, just to stretch out and explore. Kind of fun to watch the snake move around outside of his enclosure. But if you can see, this is a 10 gallon. Um, gonna get him a bigger enclosure very soon, but uh, he's about almost half the length of it if he totally spread himself out. And I'm not sure how long these are. What are these, two feet? A little bit. Go. <laughs> Almost lost him there. Anyways, we're gonna put him back in real quick. And we'll get another thing to put him in to clean this. 